All right, welcome back to Eye on Sports. Now, the second staging of the Round Jamaica Yacht Race takes place over the weekend. The inaugural race was in 2016 with Mark Shields, actually, uh, being the winner. He'll be uh, back for this year's uh, staging. Now, with us to discuss uh, the race and tell us more are one of the sailors, PJ Gibson, and principal race officer, uh, Ruji Mizer. Uh, Good afternoon. Welcome to Iron Sports. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right. Um, firstly, uh, it, it's a second staging. Let me start with you, Ruji. Sure. It's a second staging. Tell me how this um, tournament came about. It was conceived by Mark Shields, uh, probably at the bar of about three years ago, when they were deciding, discussing how to get a little bit more length out of the regattas we had here. And they decided or he decided that he was going to develop and sponsor a round the island race. They tried to make it as fair as possible where you left from Port Royal, you could decide if you want to go left or right, you just had to do one lap of Jamaica and then return to Port Royal. This continued to develop into what became the first race in 2017. In 2017, we had seven boats, six boats, correction, start, uh, five boats finished. One decided that they were going to go fishing instead. Um, it was quite eventful because we also had a cold front becoming um, present on the second day of the racing. So we went from no wind to howling winds and 30 foot seas. Some boats made it around. The fastest boat around was in 54 minutes and the boat that took the longest took seven days. So it was <laughs> quite we have two records to beat, <laughs> the fastest and the slowest. This, um, this event, this weekend, is expected to have um, fair to low winds, and it will be very strategical. Uh, we have an entrance from Grand Cayman. We have an entrance from Moby. The entrance from Moby is a multi-hull, it's a gunboat 60. It is very fast. It's very fast downwind, but not a great pointer into the wind. We have boats like Mark Shields Beneteau, who fared the best last year. Uh, and he'll actually be first. competing this year again. Correct. Right? He will be comp In fact, that's why I'm principal sales, sales officer, because he can't, he can't do both. Right. Conflict of interest. <laughs> Correct. Um, the start is at midday at Morgan's Harbor on Friday, which is tomorrow. Right. Um, PJ, you're one of the one of the sailors. Yeah. Um, I I would suggest that not many Jamaicans know much about the, the, the sport. Um, tell me how exactly it is you you go about your business from from the moment you you know you're going to be competing, because things like wind direction and wind speed and so on take place. Uh, is it that you go to the site of where the race is going to start before and? you know, check that out? Is it that you watch the weather reports? Tell, tell me, what, what's the process like? Well, um, really, the race actually starts before you actually get on the boat. Um, you check out the weather, you see what the course is, uh, how many boats are on the race, and you, plat you, you, you plan with your team your strategies. Um, of course, when you get out there, you hit with a squall, you hit with strong winds or light winds, uh, or a breakage on something, so you have to adjust as I say, adjust your sails as you go to get the boat uh, to its optimum speed. And that's really the intention in, in uh, yacht racing. You want to get the maximum speed with the conditions that you have so that you can get the best results. Mm -hmm. And um, if we can go back to, to Ruji, in terms of the entries this year, fewer than last, last time? Well, this year we had, um, we had a few late entries that dropped out for a number of personal reasons. But the, the interest in the race has grown. We have sailors joining us from as far as England who are unable to bring their boat for this event but are opting f to participate as crew on existing boats. Mm -hmm. But how prohibitive is it though? Because you have to be the owner of a, of a boat to be able to participate. No, some of the... Well, to think of a 24-hour race, or should I say a 350-mile race, and a boat that's only doing seven to ten knots. It's going to take two to two and a half days, which results in two or three shifts of four 
three or four persons. Um, as some people have to sleep, some people have to, you know, take care of the rigging, some people have to sail. So each, I think the minimum crew on any one of the boats is eight persons. And with the larger boats, it's probably upward in the 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Not all of them own the boat. Right. Um, but how much is it to own, say, a, a pretty good boat? You, you mentioned the Benito, right? The Benito is a popular boat. In fact, in yacht racing, you would say it was something like, uh, I wouldn't say as common as a Toyota Corolla, but something more popular like a Mitsubishi Evolution. There's a lot of them out there. They're good performers. And in fact, let me, let me put it to you this way. I'm the principal in miserable racing at Dover, and the sailboat racing is cheaper than the cars. Um, finally, now in, in wrapping up, Ruji. So the race is on Friday, begins at midday um, at the Grand Port Royal Hotel. That's, that's correct. That's the start um, point. The starting sequence starts at midday on Friday. Now, it's not as simple just have a horn and go. There is a starting sequence that lasts five minutes prior um, where the boats tend to jostle for the best line and the, to arrive at the start line at speed at the zero countdown. And this is, as you said, the Grand Hotel in Port Royal on Friday at midday. Mm -hmm. And prize money? No prize money. No prize money. No prize money. You <laughs> get to go sailing again. That's bragging rights. That's right. And that's, uh, that's uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the boat owners says, I don't care if we come second to last as long as we beat one of the foreign boats. <laughs> I'm not going to say who that is, but you can say it's not a foreign boat. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, Ruji Mizer, Principal Officer um, for the Round Jamaica Yacht Race. And PJ Gibson. Um, who is uh, one of uh, the sailors. Thank you very much for joining us on Iron Sports. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. All right, so with that, we uh, take a break and we return with more after this.